ladies and gentlemen. Today, I will be reviewing Everything Everywhere All at Once. Everything Everywhere All at Once is a sci-fi adventure film written and directed by Daniel Schnur and Daniel Kwan. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Everything Everywhere All at Once is a film that I saw and was pretty much looking forward to it. I've seen a little bit of ads of the film, didn't know much about it. All I knew that it dealt with the multiverse and things like that and it caught my attention. Um, this film, when I walked out of the film, I pretty much thought this might have been one of the greatest films I've seen in a movie theater ever. And that says a lot. Let's just start off with the performances. Michelle Yeoh, very good actress. She's very well known for her, you know, Chinese action films. But yeah, she plays a mother of a child and she's very protective and she, her performance in this film was just extraordinary. Down to her, of course, the action. Uh, her action scenes were great. She's always been great in the action aspect of films. But her performance was really good. Like, very good. Like, I felt a lot for her. I, I, I cared a lot about this character. I really, really did. She was funny. The comedy that she had in this film was really good. I liked her. Just everything that she's done in this film was really good. I liked her. But the guy that I really loved in this film, the one that I personally thought stole the show, was her husband. Um, I don't know the actor's name, but he's very well known for films like Indiana Jones, The Temple of the Doom, and The Goonies. And he took like a really big time off of being an actor and came back and dude literally stole the show. Every scene that he's in, everything he does is amazing. And the action scenes that he did was just top notch and like I really did enjoy what he did with the film. He's the husband of Michelle Yeoh's character. And yeah, you can the chemistry between them two are really good. They really do hold the film in their their chemistry together. The daughter, I don't know her name either. She did a great job, honestly. But performance-wise, everybody in this film did a great job in my opinion. But her her specifically, she did give a lot of, you know, drama and a lot of, you know, she brought some of the heart into this film and you can tell like you just want the best these characters really the direction by these guys i've known that they did the film with army men the one with daniel radcliffe and paul dana uh yeah they're very well known for their goofiness i mean the movie of swiss army man is about a guy that's a corpse and literally rides him and he farts a lot like that's the, that's the movie and it, it's interesting but their direction in this film are extraordinary very much inspiring really when I was watching this film, I was very much inspired, like, shit, I want to make movies, because if movies like this could be made, it really inspires me. It's like, shit, something as creative, and the creativity of these men are just extraordinary. The creativity, down to the direction, down to the story. The story is so creative, so different from anything I've ever seen in my entire like filmmaking life where I've seen movies and stuff. It's so extraordinary, it's so different. And I loved it, I really truly loved that. The direction, like I said, is so good. The action scenes were directed to the tier, man. None of that shaky shit. It's, as sad as it is that we still have to always bring up like, oh, no shaky cam, like that's good. Like, I, I, it's sad to see like some action films still require shaky sham, like freaking Snake Eyes, where that film is, it requires a lot of, it has a lot of the shaky cam. Like, that movie should have never had shaky cam in, to begin with. Especially when you have Iko Uwais and these guys that are just such great uh, choreographers with action. It's kind of stupid. Why would they do that? But, okay. But, yeah, the action scenes were directed so damn good. The story, the story is so extraordinary. The whole multiverse aspect. Yes, it can get a bit, tad bit confusing. I still think the story was so creative. This was so amazing. I love the characters. I love the world that I was, you know, brought to. The multiverse aspect was so cool. I love the multiverse. And we're gonna see Doctor Strange, so hopefully they do a good job with the whole, the multiverse of madness. I'm very excited for that one. But it's just that the multiverse, the story, everything about it was just so damn good. And I really never had, there's not a single flaw. A24 was the production company for this film. I've really loved the films that I've seen from them when it came to the theaters. I've only seen two. A24 films in theater. Hopefully I keep it up. Uh, but they're really good. The create, Like I said, the, the special effects were really good. I really didn't look at any effects that were bad. I thought it was really good, uh, the special effects. The visuals were really beautiful. How they did specific scenes. There, there's scenes in this movie that I look at that I just look at like, wow, I don't know how they did it. 
I don't know how much time and effort they put in, but just they did such a great job. The cinematographer, just be like I said, the, the, every every shot is so good. The visuals are so good. The direction, like everything about the film, is so goddamn good. The music score was good too. I really did like the music score for this film, for specific action set pieces. I just I love how they do like different resolutions for some for some of the. The scene like it goes full on 16-4 and then right when it gets to the scene of the action it goes cinematic and it's so awesome it is it like i love the just the differentials the creativity of this film it is incredible from beginning to end like i said jamie lee curtis she's great i love jamie lee curtis and everything she's done in this film she's even better the multiversal world and different universes and stuff are so creative and so different There's specific worlds that are just so goofy and creative it's i just loved it it's so funny it's also funny, like I said, the comedy is great. I guess to the serious shit, it, it hits it big time. The grandpa dude, the guy in the wheelchair was funny, he's great. He's a great actor, he's done so many great films in his lifetime. There's a part in this movie that I literally, I haven't felt like that since I played Arkham Asylum. I shit you not. That is, when I saw that, I was like, holy shit, they did it. And I was, I was like, I didn't expect them to do something like that. To fuck, they fuck with the audience in a way, and I'm like, wow. This is so good. I love it. And I was just sitting there just in awe. I walked out of the movie really saying this is one of the greatest films I've ever seen. And thinking about it now, it's like, shit, it really is. I want to see it as many times as possible. I sadly didn't see it with my friends. I didn't know it was going to be that amazing. But like, I really want to like maybe have a time where it's like, if they're not doing anything, to go see this film. Because it's so great. I want to see their reaction to scenes and stuff. It's so fucking awesome. I love it. Yeah, I have really very, like, no flaws and not many films have, many, a lot of great films have flaws, but this one, I cannot think of any flaws, really. Like, if maybe it's a little too goofy, but not, for me, I don't care about that. Like, it, yeah, it's goofy, but that's what it's made for, and it's awesome, and I, I don't mind the goofiness. Especially, it gets really goofy. Like, we're talking serious shit goofy. And I love it. I loved it. I was having such a blast watching it, and I didn't, I didn't think anything of it, and I was just loving it from beginning to end. But yeah, the story, man. That really helped. Like, the writing was so goddamn good by these guys, man. I want to see more of their work. I hope they get more mainstream film. Like I said, support this film. Support this film. Please do. All right? Not many movies like this are made. Support it. Because these are films that very rarely get shown in theaters. And they should absolutely be shown in theaters. Because you look at it in a, in a point like this is incredible. More movies like this should be made. And I'm going to very much support it as much as I can. Because it is one of the greatest films I've seen. In recent times and it's one of easily could be one of the best films of this year without any doubt but yeah I am very happy with this film I'm very happy with it and I'm very much looking forward to what they're gonna do next the directors and writers I hope they get this creative freedom man I really do because they deserve it man they when it comes to their films they've done nothing but great films so I hope they continue and I'm very much looking forward to what they do with their career. I have nothing but respect for it. And as me as a filmmaker, a person that's inspiring to be a filmmaker, this film inspired the shit out of me, man. I'm telling you, this film was something that you don't see many movies like this ever. And it's very, I'm very glad that a movie like this is made. And I'm hopeful that it makes money. I hope, I'm hopeful that they continue doing it. I'm hopeful more studios look at this film and be like, this is what we should do with films, man. And I hope that's what they do because this is, one of the best films I've ever seen. I don't have much to say except the standing ovation, really. And I don't do a lot of that, you know what I mean? Rating-wise, like I said, I've given six to a lot of movies, too. Uh, like, down to fives and sixes, but this is a film that is unique, and it's a film that I've never seen before, and it does that film in a way that is incredible. So, without a doubt, one of the greatest films I've ever seen. Easily one of the, it might as well be one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in a movie theater. In time. That might be a fact. Like, I've had experiences in a movie theater that are just, like, incredible. Like, No Way Home and Endgame, where I'm, like, in the movie theater, like, just applauding and having a great time. But this movie, it doesn't have that. But when it comes to a film that I was like just inspired, and I really was inspired by this film, this movie kind of made me want to do more reviews now. Because I like talking about movies, and this movie is a film that I really wanted to talk about for a very long time. Because I have absolutely think this movie deserves all the recognition, all the praise it gets. I don't see a film this... If there's a film that comes out this year that surpasses this or gets to that film, I'm like, fuck. 
Uh, it might happen, but I, it's, I'm telling you, this is one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. I've never seen a film like this, and I really hope they make more movies like this. Yeah. Oh, my God. This film is incredible. I want to see it again, and I'm going to see it again. I'm definitely without fucking doubt putting that in my collection. That deserves... There's movies like this. Like, I believe that deserves to be in that collection, so it should. But, yeah, the rating, um, six. It's a six. It's a six stars. One of my favorite films of this year and one of the best movies of all time. It's up there as one of the greatest films ever made. And that's even, that's saying a lot because I've seen some fucking incredible films but this film really was something special and I want to see it and I think everybody should see it. So yeah, that is my review for Everything Everywhere All At Once. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next review. Peace.